Ready to Love Season 4, Episode three or two. Uh, these are the breakout dates where couples, they kind of couple up and go on date. This date is uh, AJ and Alexis. Initially, I liked Alexis and I wanted to like her. And the first, at, at the mix, I was like, uh-uh, so I don't like her. She's a thought, uh-uh, I just cannot do it. And to be a pastor's wife, I was very surprised of how sexual she was. Now, in her interview, she said men in Atlanta see her, they see her, and they see sex on her. And I'm like, I wonder why they do that. Well, that's because everything out of her mouth is very sexual and sensual. So ladies, when you lead with sex, guess what's going to happen? They're going to see sex with the, on you. They're going to smell it on you. They're just going to want to do sex, which is why I'm eat, wearing my donut PJs today, okay? Because Miss Lex says, you know. All the guys here, they just want to uh, <clears throat> take a bite because she leads with it. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls Want to Get Married to. My name is Janice. Good morning. Happy Friday morning. Today is Ready to Love Night. So all things Ready to Love, I'm going to try to do three videos because I really haven't done a lot this week because you know married at first sight. And so I'm going to try to make it up to you. I love and appreciate you. Thank you for your love and support. My 10,000 subscribers. I have a free a uh, chapter of my new book available on Kindle Unlimited. It's how to not give boyfriends husband benefits. If you have Kindle Unlimited, it is absolutely free to you. It is one free chapter. And then to make up the word count to get into Kindle Unlimited, I added a few excerpts from 23 Types of Guys and um, from 20 Types of Guys and from The Naked Wife. And then that chapter, how to not give Boyfriend, husband, benefits, there are seven things you should not give to boyfriends, uh, uh, ladies. So be sure to download that. If it's if you don't have Kindle Unlimited, I will be uploading it to my blog today. And you can download it there for free. My new book is coming out very, very soon. Hopefully uh, by um, next week, I'll have a, a, a proof copy or something. Thank for love with my other books. Most of gratitude, most gratitude journal. I was up this morning writing in this journal because when I woke up yesterday morning, I heard Psalm 23. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Okay. And so I wrote that in my journal. So you need to pick up this journal and write in it. And those are my journal interests. And of course, uh, in Christ I am. All right. AJ and Alexis. Um, I really wanted to like her, but uh -uh. I just, I, she's just, she leads with sex. That's Alexis. If you don't know who Alexis is and that is AJ. Uh, I was very surprised at what AJ was saying. Okay. Because I already did a video on him being Mr. Get a Dingling, but that goes back to what my dad says. A man has to be ready and he is now ready to sell down. Okay. I'll be talking through the video. Okay. They're going on a date. They're doing candles. She looks very pretty. She has knee high, thigh high boots, leather pants on, um, beige jacket. Love her hair. Love her purse. AJ's looking real handsome. Of course, he's tall. He's chocolate. He ain't all that. Ooh, that's a belly shirt, girl. She had on a tiger shirt. Ew, I, I was going to wear my tiger PJs. The leather was a nice touch with thigh high boots. I was not mad at it at all. But I definitely want to get an opportunity to see what's He said the leather was a nice touch, the thigh high boots. Uh, she's looking real pretty, but she, he wants to know what else is there. He wanted to know what else is there outside of her looks, ladies. So do you see that? Yeah, you're good looking. This is what I've been telling you. Men are visual. So once you are visually appealing, then they want to go to the next level. Okay, let's see what else is there. These are the men that's looking for wives. The ones that just want to screw you, they'll just screw you. But the men that are looking for wives, they, okay, you're visually appealing to me. Okay, now let's, let me go see how sweet your spirit is. You know, they told you in the church. Oh, you know, she has a beautiful spirit. Don't matter what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside, which is a lie, okay? So they have to pick out two of them. It, he thought it would be a nice dope date, mixing fragrances together and making a candle with her. Very cute. I love that date. Very simple, very romantic, ladies. See, guys, you don't have to always spend 
all this money, you could just have a very nice, simple date of candle making. I love that she allowed him to take her jacket off and saw the view. I don't think anything is wrong with that. I thought it was very sexy and cute. Love her purse. Why do you think I pick gold? Because you need something that shine. So she picks gold and he she asked him, Why do you think I pick gold? And he was like, Because you need something nice and shiny. Right now, on this day with AJ, I'm very excited. I'm trying to give you style of this. And so he's tying her bib around her and she's just standing there. He's, uh, you know, tying it around her with her little booty sticking out. And she said, well, I got to get used to this. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the whole hug thing. Let me go back and talk about how when she hugged him, she. Uh, let me go back because this is very important. She hugged him initially. Or was it when they were sitting? So, yeah, she came in and she said, you so handsome, sexy chocolate. You don't go need to go beyond handsome, ladies. You can say, oh, you're looking so handsome today. That's it. Once you start talking about sexy chocolate, uh-uh, their ears perk up. And if they just want to, that's what they're going to do. So right there, he's already saying, well, you know, she's pretty, she looks good, but I want to see what else is there, okay? And he asked her, oh, I'm sexy chocolate, okay. And she said, well, I, it look better when I, when I take the jacket off, okay? She's real flirty, flirty. Mm -hmm. They're back to the candle. Why do you think I, I pick gold? He's saying you want something nice and shiny. Uh huh. Good answer. Right now, on this day with AJ, I'm very excited. I'm trying to give you some. She's very excited to be on the day with AJ. She's gonna. And she's saying in her voice over, you know me, I love a tall chocolate brother, and I actually call him Chocolate Drip. Everything is sexual out of her mouth to her. It's just, it's just, even if you're thinking it, ladies, why do you need to keep saying it and saying it to him? Because then his ears is going to be, okay, she's being real sexual to me. And then you're going to come off as only being sexual. There's nothing else you want to talk about other than sex. What did we drop in first? I can't drop the drop in first. Well, no, we got the little things to see if we And she's talking about where do we drop the things, the drops? I can't drop it in. Listen to what she said. All these sexual terms. Got to do that first before I go all the way in. You know, all the way in. And he's smiling and he's blushing. And he says, you seem like you're an all the way in type of woman. Come on, somebody. And so she said, yeah, so you can help me down, slow me down a little bit. And he says, what if I want to speed you up? Mm, mm, mm. She said, ooh, do you want me to go that fast? Just all sex. I'm, saying, I'm telling you, I don't hear nothing holy in here, okay? Uh, you might be right. You might be slow down. Then he says, you might be right. I might need to slow you down. Girl, it's all sex, 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 honey. Definitely some sexual chemistry going on there. It's ironic that we're at a place called Love Mate. And so her voiceover, she said, there's sex, there's definitely some sexual tension going on there. And it's ironic that we're at a place called Love Make. Mm. She's pulling on the beard and he's like blushing. Like, uh, 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 uh. She's pulling on his beard. Very sexual. And so he says, oh, if I would go ahead and caress your face right now, what is this going to lead to? She says, well, it's definitely going to lead to something. She's one of my love languages. 
And so she said, it's definitely going to lead to something. She definitely loved the touch. It's one of her love languages. Why are you talking about love languages on a first date with a man? Make it make sense to me, ladies. Mm -hmm. Hugs, kisses. Hugs, kisses. So then he says to her, so why then are you sitting so far away if that's the case? And she says, I could come closer. Is that close enough? And he's looking at her like he's ready to tear that ass up, okay? And she's flapping the hair, and he's like, yeah, that's enough. Like, let's go in the back and do it. It's easy to talk to him, and it's easy to be sensual with him. It's so she's saying it's, it's easy to talk to him. It's easy to, to be sensual with him. It's that romantic. It's very romantic, and it goes where it might go. Who knows where it might go? So on the first date, Alexis, you're ready to drop the drawers. You're ready, girl. Huh? How many of y'all ladies go on these first dates with these men and you take your home with you and then you don't hear from him no more because he thinks you're a hoe and a thought. Okay? This is what I'm talking about. Your swag is on a thousand. Listen to what she said. Your swag is on a thousand. I appreciate it. He said he appreciates that, and she's saying you definitely carry a form of masculinity that is more very attractive. Sis, sis, sis. Ladies, y'all go into this telling him about, oh, you look so good, you so fine, you so handsome, you so masculine, and and I, I, you you're not talking about anything that a man cares about. Okay, you're just dropping the words. You're just being a charmer. Because you think a man wants to be charmed versus having a real conversation about him. They want you to be interested in them. What do you do? Oh, tell me more about that. And no, she just turning on the charm, honey, so she could go get the ding a -ling later. You're attractive. You're attractive. And he's sitting there blushing. He's looking at her. Because that's not something you do for a man, ladies. You don't turn on the charm and all the compliments and the, the, on the men. They, they don't care about that. So listen to what he's going to say. We can make music. Oh. Oh, I love that. That means you can put me to bed. And if you can sing, it's all right. She's just talking and he's just like, this is him. He's like this, and he's like. And in his voiceover, he says, she out aggress him a little bit. So in other words, you're aggressive. And how many of you know she's dumb dumb because she said you're masculine, right? But she's being extremely aggressive. Well, a masculine man don't want an aggressive woman. Hello, ladies. Come on now. Okay. <clears throat> and he's sitting there blushing. Anytime you see a man start touching his face, like, yeah, he's blushing. He's like, oh my God, this girl, she's talking too much. Because men don't touch their faces unless he's like embarrassed or something. Alexis, even out of breath, me a little bit. Why you do that? He says she out of breath, me a little bit. And so in, in his voice over, he said, you aggress me. Now they're talking about let that set. And he's like, hot wax. Do you, have you ever had any experience with that? You know why? Because she's leading with sex. So now he's following her lead. Let's see her. What she said. So she, he, she said, well, I've had wax when I do my pedicure, but if you have other places for me to experience it, you know where you put the what, hot wax ladies. Mm -hmm. oh, she, she said, I'll definitely oblige. Yeah. He laughed and walked away. He said, oh my goodness, you're wild. And she's like, just a little bit, just a little bit. No, not one question about him yet. Not one question. Because he said at the beginning, she's pretty. She has a nice body. Leather pants is nice. Thigh high boots. I want to see what else is there. Okay. 
he he already says, I want to see what else is in. What else is he seeing? Sensuality and sexual. Okay, he walks in the in the closet. Uh, we still making a candle. And he said in his voiceover, he said there was one point where we I was like, Well, ooh, are we still making candles? We still talking about candles. Hey, you work it hard. A little bit, you know. Mm. It got to the point where uh, are we still, still making candles? candles? I how long it takes before it gets hard. So he's pouring in the wax in there, and guess what she said? I wonder how long it takes before it gets hard. Hello? Sexual? Mm -hmm. There he go, blushing and laughing again. He's shaking his head, and she's laughing. <laughs> like a... <laughs> Hyena. I get it, but when you rush into sex, it can cloud your judgment really, really. Hard. And so in AJ's voiceover, he says, I get it, but when you rush into sex, you can cloud your judgment. And that's when I thought I was going to have to take back that video and do a retraction video on what he, what the video I did about him being Mr. Get a Dingling. But no, he said it when he came here 27, he hit the rules hard. He was all out there. He got the young stuff out, but now he's ready. So I don't have to do a retraction video. So. Mm -hmm. So, see, ladies, he's saying now at almost 40, he's 38, he is saying, you know what? When you rush into sex too much, it clouds your judgment. <clears throat> now, at 27, 28, he did. 27, 28, they were doing just what my daddy said. Get the dog out. Now that he got, just don't be the girl he get it out in. Now that he don't got the dog out. Now he's ready to find his wife and settle down. Now, I wish the church would teach the man, you got to control your dingling. Because that's what my daddy said. Uh, they got to get the dog out. But it it behooves every man to get control of his own vessel. This is what the Apostle Paul told Timothy. Get control of your vessel. Okay. Let's see what else he got. And that's something I definitely. Process. And so he says, when you rush into sex, it clouds your judgment. And this is something he doesn't want to do in this process. So in his mind, he already have his goal about, well, I'm not going to rush into sex. In the meantime, Miss Alexis over here is leading with sex. So ladies, you're doing what you think you want the man to do. And in his mind, he's doing what? What is he doing, ladies? He is he is gathering data about you also. This is why I tell y'all when on these dates, talk about him. Tell me about you. Because he is gathering data on this Alexis and he's learning that she's all about sex. And that's not what he's about and that's not what he wants. And so all behind all the pretty face, the leather pants and the thigh high boots, she's a thought. Come on, somebody. So he asked her, you was married, right? He, she said, yes, I was married to a pastor. He listened to what he said. You don't make a lot of innuendos that, that has to do with being a pastor's wife. Listen to what she said. So she said, I did. And some people's going to find this a certain way. But at the end of the day, sex is important to me. Why are you talking about sex and bringing up sex on the first date, ladies? Because in my mentoring class, I teach, I teach. If he brings up sex on the first date, wash your hands of him because he's telling you what he's about and what he wants. Sex. Okay. And so she's saying, I think as adults, we think we should be able to have that conversation. But why are you having that conversation with every man you meet? Because every man you meet is not going to pass beyond three months. So why are you talking about sex on the first date? Make it make sense to me, ladies. Absolutely. I'm not shying away from it. So he said, absolutely. I'm not shying away from it. I just noticed that it is a conversation that's had. He said, I just know this is just a conversation that's had, meaning she just, you know, talking about sex. And she says, Lord Jesus, I think it's because I am very physically 
attracted to you right there. If he wants to go home, if he wants to go in the in the closet and screw her right now, he can because he knows she's wide open. He don't have to do no work for her. He don't, he could just, he, it's free. She's giving it to him on a silver platter, basically. And she, and he says, hmm. I think because I am very physically, very physically attracted to you in that way. In other words, I want to screw you. This is what she's telling him. Let me go back and hear what he said in his voiceover. Mm-hmm. Y'all can learn a lot. In you know, I find her sexually attractive, but that's not my fault. So in his voiceover, he says, you know, I find her sexually attractive, but that's not my focus. Focus, ladies. Focus. This is why I keep telling you, don't do the sexual thing. Don't lead with your career. Don't lead with your job. Don't lead with your money and your six cars. Okay, leave it being very, very ladylike and very feminine and be all in him. Talk about him. Tell me about you. Tell me about this and tell me about that. No, she's over here leading with sex, ready to bust it wide open in the closet, girl. My focus while I'm here is to find someone I have a genuine connection with that can be my wife. So he said, my focus is to uh, find someone that I have a genuine connection with to be my wife. He's looking for a wife, not a thought, not somebody he can screw in the closet, not a cheap woman that she, all she does is talk about sex. There's nothing else to Alexis other than sex. That's it. So you know what? She don't lost him. She lost him. Gone. Bye. Y'all went out on a date. You had a good time. Y'all laughing. Cat, 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 cat. And you wonder why you don't hear from him again. There you go. There she go again, tall, chocolate, and handsome. And the bald head and pulling his beard. And he's like. Mm -hmm. This one, a lot of you do. That's leading with sex. You don't need to lead with sex, okay? Because he might not be looking for that. There he go. He's looking for a wife. Now, maybe five years ago, he would have took her in the closet and bent her over and banged her life out. But at this point in his life, that's not what he's doing and that's not what he's looking for. All right, girls, I have to run because I got to talk about Miss Kara and Mr. Jason. Make sure you come back for that one, honey, because I got some bomb to drop on that one, okay? Because a lot of you ladies fall into that. But anyways, girl, 23 Tesla Guys You Mind Me is available on Amazon, uh, Monster Gratitude Journal, Monster Gratitude jur uh, Book. Those are my journal entries. Uh, the Naked Wife uh, in Christ I Am. My free, you could get a free chapter. If you have Amazon Kindle Unlimited, go over there and download this for free. If not, I will be uploading it on my channel today because my, my um, blog today, my new book is coming out very soon. I love you. I have to run. Let me know what you think about Miss Alexis. And do you lead with sex? Have you went out with guys? You had a wonderful time again. You're like, what happened? We had a great time. You wonder why he didn't call you. What did you lead with? Okay. Love you. Bye.